Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a first look at Nova Stella Island. This is a game that is currently in early access on Steam. It came out today, January 17th. I talked about this game in the previous video last month, and I was really looking forward to it. It looks like a beautiful game, kind of reminds me of Genshin Impact. But also I looked at the reviews on Steam and it looks like there was some kind of drama related to this game. So it looks like the developer changed their name and apparently they changed the name of the game as well and they changed a few things with the project. And I tried to look it up and I couldn't find exactly what happened so I'm not too sure but I'm just gonna jump into the game without knowing about the drama and I will try to just judge the game for what it is. If you guys have any more information about what happened, please feel free to let me know. But yeah, right now the reviews are pretty negative for this game, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll figure it out by ourselves. So let's enter the island. And right away, I really love how this screen looks. The title is just really beautiful. The UI, like everything's like so smooth. But yeah, let's just enter the island. And I think we're going to get to create our character. I'm going to pick this save file. Yes. And all right, so you choose between the male or the female protagonist. They look pretty good. So let's go with this one. Confirm. Yes. Oh, maybe there's no character creation, actually. Maybe maybe there will be later on. But for now, you just kind of pick a preset character. And here's a beautiful little cutscene. I don't know if there is a story to this game. I honestly, I don't know too much beside the little trailer that I saw. And it looked really beautiful, so... Anyway, here we are on our little island. And here's a little creature. I forgot how they're called, but you'll get to interact and make friends with them. All right, so here I am on the island. So I can move around, I can jump. So let's get started. I want to talk with Algu. Oh, <laughs> his voice is so cute. Let's chat. Hello there, Ribbit. You just landed on Novastella Island. I'm Augu from the village of Lily. Nice to meet you, Ribbit. I have no idea why you dropped down from the sky. Honestly, this is my first time seeing it, Ribbit. I'm hungry though. Shall we grab something to eat first? I'm just about to cook some fish. Could you please help me collect three pieces of wood at the beach near here? Uh, yes, so let's collect some wood for Augu so you can move around the sprint with left shift. All right. And let's go collect some stuff. And you can give. I don't have anything to give. But you can gift stuff to people as well. So, yeah, you can run around. And I'm just going to pick up the dead wood. Like this. Pretty simple. And it picks up the items automatically. So you don't have... Um, yeah, once the items are dropped, it just picks them up automatically. So that's convenient. I just collected some materials to make a fishing rod. So let's produce one now. What? You don't know how to make a fishing rod? Uh, you, how could anyone live independently without a fishing rod? Here's a sketch with instructions on how to make that tool. So that part should be easy enough for you after you've read it. So there is a crafting table right here. Let's see how the crafting works. Uh, wait, I don't have any recipe right now. Okay, so first I need to actually learn the recipe. So I'm going to open my backpack. There's a recipe here. So you just right click and then it's learned then you check the crafting table so i need two pieces of wood so let's confirm i like this little animation everything feels very polished so far i'm really impressed with how this game looks so all right let's talk with algu one more time my fishing rod is ready you're amazing are you kidding me when you said this is your first time making your own fishing gear it took me a long time to learn how to do that ribbit all are all outworlders as good as you? This is just a simple fishing rod, but it looks well crafted and really sturdy, so I'm sure you can catch a fish before long with this fishing gear. All right, so let's try to do some fishing. So we just go near the fishing spot. And oh, I just scared away the fish. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I need to take out my fishing rod first. So let's open the inventory, take the fishing rod with right click and oh i can't move once you have it you can't move so okay i'm gonna go back near the fishing spot the fish are back and just aim here then left click and then you just wait 
I don't know if there's gonna be some kind of mini game. Okay, you just gotta click when you're in the yellow bar, and that's pretty much it. So I got a blue salmon, and if you press B, you can add some bait. I don't have any baits right now, but that's a nice little additional mechanic to the fishing system. So I'm just gonna catch one more fish, and then we're gonna go see. Oh, oops! Oh, I was too early. Okay, let's try this one more time. I like this fishing system though. It's not too simple. But it's not too complicated. It's like just perfect, right? You can just mindlessly fish while you're, I don't know, doing other things. Uh, so I like that. And all right, so let's talk to Agu. You're amazing, given that you caught one in no time at all. Ribet, this fish is so fresh that I'm sure it will be delicious after we have roasted it. Ribet, so we now have the ingredients we need for our food. Our final step is to make a fire. Grandpa said it would take a stable heat source to roast something delicious. Ribbit. We still have some materials left to make one, so let's get started. All right, so let's make a little fire. So I got a recipe for a campfire, so I'm gonna open my backpack, right click, and after that, I'm gonna go to the crafting table, make a campfire like this. So this is campfire with roasted fish. So I guess the fish kind of comes with the campfire. And then I just talk with Algu again. You did everything perfectly. We received foreigners like you before, but none of them were as capable as you. Thank you. Grandpa Village Chief said this before. The foreigners like you had lost their way home. So they followed the light from the Lotus Goddess to come to this world. We bet if you want to find a way back home, you can ask Grandpa Village Chief. He knows everything, Ribbit. He's in Little Village, no, sorry, Lily Village, just a short distance beyond the valley. All right, so let's do that. So it was a little bit weird how, when you craft a campfire, I thought I was gonna make a campfire. Oh yeah, there it is now. Okay, now it's there. It's just a decorative item, actually. I thought I would make a campfire and then use it to cook, but it's just like a decorative item, the campfire with the fish all together. But, Anyway, let's go talk to the chief in the village. This game is just so beautiful already, like all the vegetation. And, oh, oh, I thought the game was gonna crash, but it's a cutscene. Wow, such a pretty cutscene. Oh, I think that's the chief. One of these big guys is probably the chief. Little butterfly, and that's really cute. Such a cute game already. I was a little bit scared when I saw all the negative reviews, but actually, so far, I am. I mean, I've only been playing for like 10 minutes, but so far, I am enjoying it. Nova Stella Island. So that was kind of the little tutorial that is now over. And I guess from now on, it will get a little bit more open ended. All right, so let's talk. To the chi oh uh, there's a little shop here let's see if there's anything we can buy oh there's so much stuff already so there are lots of plants so I think you can just use these plants to decorate your house and decorate the village yeah I think these are all just decorative items so okay let me try to oh there's a chest here let me try to get to that chest such a shame we can't jump like <laughs> our jump is not really high okay let's open this up so I got a gold nugget and a wooden corner staircase. You know what? Let's try to do some building. So there's a building mode here. Staircase. Okay, so we just right click. And yes, yeah, so we can really place things freely. There's a grid that you can turn on and off. So it might be a little bit more um, easy with the grid. Uh, you can also, you have a little magnet here. So if you want to connect different pieces together but yeah, so you have the grid and you can rotate. Okay, so with E and Q actually you can rotate. So you can place things like that and that's how you're gonna build a town, build your house. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just have this one piece so I'm not gonna go f very far with that. So let's try to remove it. See how that works. Oh, recover maybe. So click on recover and then you go click on the thing you wanna put back in your bag, so. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so let's talk to the chief. I'm gonna take a look at the map. So that's the map I have so far. You cannot zoom in or out, but it looks like it's a pretty small map. And okay, so the chief is there. So I just need to go straight. 
We haven't seen a foreigner like you in a long time. Are you stuck here, Ribbit? Don't worry, you will find your way home. Although it would be nice if you could stay in our village for now. Our village also has many vacant plots of land. Feel free to build your own home in a place you like. We're very friendly people, especially to our guests. People in the village will help you if you need it, and you should help them if they are in need. You can go and talk to... Rike, Rike loves adventure. She has found many interesting items. There's a thing she has that only a foreigner can use. All right, so let's talk with her. And then after that, maybe we can try to find a nice place to build a house. So where is Rike? I'm not too sure. Okay, she's the pink icon there. So, okay, I think she's at the top of this little cliff this little mountain yes there she is and she has a material shop so let's see what she has to sell i've never seen a foreigner before the village elders have told me stories about you so you really exist i found this during one of my adventures here it's yours you can glide in the sky with this Ooh, it's a shame that lily lily i don't know if they're called lilies or lilies uh, i'm gonna say lilies uh yeah anyway it's a shame that lilies can't use this press this Press the space bar when you're in the air. Press it again to cancel gliding. Nice. We're seeing more and more gliding mechanics in open world games recently. And such a fun way to traverse the world. So, yeah, we're going to try that. And I need to talk to Dory. So, let's glide our way to Dory. I want to see the shop first. What does she have to sell? So, she has some fabrics. Okay, so it's all like materials for crafting, like wood. Recipe. Oh, these are recipes. Anyway, I don't have enough money for now, so... Yeah, not yet. Okay, so I need to find where Dory is, and she's over there. So, let's try that gliding. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. And then, that's gonna make our gliding a little bit easier. Ooh, what's that? Okay, um... Alright, let's do this... Oh, that's a nice little gliding device. That's that's nice. That looks good. All right. And here we are. And then you can just drop it. And I don't think you take any fall damage uh, when you fall down. Or at least not from this height. Anyway, let's talk to Dory. Hey, yeah. So you're the foreigner that the chief is talking about. The chief wants me to find a vacant plot and flatten it for you to build your home. You see this plot of land behind me, so I have done as he asked by removing all the foliage, but I'm not sure if it can meet his requirements. Could you help me check? Of course. Check it out. Let me know if there's anything you need. All right, let's check that. But it looks like a pretty nice, pretty big, big and flat land, I'm sure. It would be suitable for a house. And look at this beautiful view. There's a little ice area over there. Beautiful beach. Yeah, there's like a little autumn kind of forest over there. Such a beautiful world. So let's check the land. And I guess it's good. So let's chat with her one more time. I'm glad you love it. I'll tell my brothers to work on your house with you. There is one point to be explained first. Although we can help, you need to collect the materials and recipes on your own. Hope you can understand. We also have our own work. Thank you for your understanding. A personality like yours would be perfect for this place and everyone would love you. Everybody's so kind to me. Everybody's so sweet in this little village. She told me I need lots of materials and recipes and to make money, the best thing to do is fishing. So I think I'm gonna go... Actually, she wants me to talk to Lanu. Which is over there. And I think we're going to do some fishing there. Maybe she's going to give me some baits or something like that. So let's see. Outsider, the chief has told me about you. I'll tell you what I know about fishing. Fishing is a necessary skill. Every lily must learn how at a young age. What you can catch varies from place to place. There are different kinds of fish in the pond, river, at the shore, and deep sea. Oh, and there's the bait. Bait is very important. I've talked to Bander. He has a grocery shop not far from here. Go find him and ask him for my order. All right, so let's go talk to Bander. Hello, if I don't have it, you don't need it for fishing. Lanu's order of bait, here you go, take care. So that guy's <laughs> like really small and the camera zooms in way too much on him. Take care, come back anytime. All right, so 
Now we're gonna go talk to Lanyu one more time. Got the bait. Yes. Each fishing area has a limited number of fish, but if you use bait, you will attract a new fish. If you use high quality bait, you have a higher chance of catching rare fish. Take the bait to a nearby fishing area and try it out. You'll see how important bait is. All right, so I'm gonna try fishing with the bait. I have some plain baits, so let's try that and see if it makes any difference in my fishing. So we just left click to throw the bait and then you fish. So I don't know if there's gonna be, if the fish is different or if there's just gonna be more fish, but let's see. Oh, I thought the little thing will actually come back uh, but no, so you only have like one chance to click uh, while it's in the yellow bar. So let's try this one more time. All right, I got a little mud skipper and I've got a little white line checker fish. So I'm just gonna keep fishing for a few minutes and try to get as much as I can. Okay, so after a while, it says you fish them all. More is on the way, please wait. So I think at that time, if I use a bait, they're gonna come back instantly, I think. So let's try bait and use. Oh yeah, it makes them come back instantly. So you can fish like maybe five or six fish before before it runs out of fish. Okay, and I, oops, <laughs> I leveled up my fishing. Let's see if that does anything. So as you can see, there are different levels. So there's fishing, crafting and collecting. Mm, I don't think you can do anything with your levels for now. I don't know if there's going to be like skills or if it just makes it easier to fish. Um, I didn't notice any difference, but yeah, there are different levels. And maybe we should take a look at the rest of the menu. So here we've got the character information. As you can see, I don't even have a name right now. I'm just like traveler. Um, but I'm assuming there's going to be like more character customization later on. And let's check the rest of the menu. So inventory, we saw that. Build, we saw that. Map, we saw. Memo, this is where you can see all of your quests. Then we've got index. So here you can see all of the items you've collected as well as all of the different fish. So there's going to be... Right now, there's actually 730 different things. So there's already quite a lot to collect. So, oh, okay, that includes all of the recipes. So that's why there's a lot. Oh, all the building materials. As you can see, there's going to be lots of different door frames, lots of doors, windows, walls, fences. So if you like building, I think you can have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, really lots of stuff there. So that's good. Um, email. So I got a little thing. Oh, from leveling up my fishing, I got some gold nuggets. Reset. I'm not too sure what that does and I'm kind of scared <laughs> to try it and then you've got memories So this is pretty much like the tutorial. So Yeah, that's the menu. Everything seems fine so far. And so let's talk with Lanu one more time I'm right. You do have a talent for fishing and we fish can be exchanged for a lot of money in Lily village As long as you learn to fish you can live on without problems. Are you going to build your own house next? Yes, I will definitely do that. So first, let's go sell our fish and then let's see if we can buy any building materials. So this is a construction shop. So this is where I'm gonna get most of the recipes for building things. And I can sell my fish here. So I think you can sell your stuff in all of the shops so it doesn't have to be like a fish shop. Uh, all of the shops will work. So I'm just gonna sell everything. And as you can see, I'm gonna make quite a bit of money considering that I was just fishing for like five minutes. And what is this one? This one is worth 600. Oh, that's the grilled fish. I think I made at the beginning, maybe. I'm not too sure where that comes from. I'm not too sure, but anyway, it's worth 600. So I've got a thousand right now. I'm gonna be able to buy quite a few recipes, but first I wanna talk with Mick. Just in case he gives me some recipes for free or something. New outsider, do you like our village? Yes, I do. To live in a village, you need all kinds of materials and items, and you can't live without the right storage and crafting methods. To build a house, you need all kinds of building recipes, furniture, and materials. There are different stores in the village where you can buy building recipes, furniture recipes, and various building materials. Check them out if you need them. Okay, so let's buy a few recipes. So I think we're gonna need the essentials. So 
wooden square foundation that seems pretty essential um as well as wooden walls and wooden roof we're gonna start something basic and walls to connect to the roof something for the door frame for the windows and we're gonna buy a door there's a wooden door or an elegant door you know what i think we're gonna stick with the simple stuff for now so one door like this and maybe one type of window like really simple window like this so i think with that we should have the basics but as you can see there's like six pages so there's already already quite a lot of options and maybe stairs i don't think i'm gonna make two floors right away but and maybe some pillar all right i think that's a good start and then i'm gonna learn all the recipes like this but now if i want to craft this stuff i actually need a lot of wood so i'm gonna find how to get more wood so if you want to get materials it's actually pretty straightforward you just go to anything that is sparkling like these trees for example and you press e so you don't have to select or switch between any tools. You really just go near something, you press a button and it will collect some materials and pick them up automatically. So it's very, very simple. Same for like, I just cut some bugs right now and I need to get pebbles as well. So I'm trying to look for some stones, but yeah, so gathering resources is pretty simple. And I'm assuming that those trees will regenerate every day and I can come back tomorrow and get more stuff. And also I want to show you something quickly. Actually, I unlocked a new character. So once again, something that kind of reminds me of Genshin Impact, but you have different characters. So you can just switch uh, between them. And as you can see, oh, I think they have different levels. So for example, no, I think the levels are the same actually in between the different characters. Yeah, the levels are the exact same, so I think it's just a matter of appearance. But yeah, if you want to switch between characters, that is something you can do. All right, so the stone is a little bit more difficult to find. I'll show you on the map if anybody's playing and they're having some issues trying to find the pebbles. But if you come around this area right here, there are a few of these darker stones. And you can break them, get some pebbles. So there's a few around here and I just saw these reed bushes. So I guess I can do a little bit of harvesting. I don't know if this is a resource that you can grow by yourself later on. I also don't know if we're gonna be able to see actual farming in today's video, but yeah, here's a few things I can harvest. And yeah, so I think I'm almost ready to start building my house. Oh, as you can see, there's also some stones in the water here. So yeah, there's quite a bit in this area. Okay, so I've been playing for another two hours and I finished building my house. And as much as I would love to tell you that I built all of this by myself, it was just a matter of gathering the resources, giving them to Dory, and then the house would get built automatically. So it kind of shows you what you can build but it's a bit of a shame that it's all automatic. Um, so you just start the game with this huge, huge house. Uh, it's so big, it's very beautiful, but I kind of wish the game incentivized you for actually building it yourself. Uh, of course, at this point I can, for example, if I go into the build mode, I can take stuff and like move things around and change the layout of the house. But it's a little bit tricky because the game didn't really give me a chance to become familiar with the system and just gave me a huge, huge house. So I kind of wish you started with a smaller house or you actually had to build it yourself. Because yeah, this game has this nice building mechanic, but I didn't get to really use it. And I got some really nice furniture as well. So maybe eventually I'll try to just demolish this house and build something from scratch. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on this game so far. So as I noticed while I was building this house, it's a lot of quests, a lot of gathering materials and yeah, a lot of fetch quests just going around, kind of grinding for resources. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, it's not your typical farming game. It's more like 
If you've played Genshin Impact or if you've played like MMORPGs, it feels kind of similar to that, but a more cozy version of it because so far there's no combat. Uh, there are some areas on the map that are blocked off, so maybe there's going to be combat there later on. But now I can't go, so for now it's a completely peaceful game, so yeah, very cozy, very chill. So if you like games like Genshin Impact or if you like MMOs, uh, games with lots of quests, lots of like grinding, just like mindless gameplay, I would say. So it's a good game for like watching a movie or like watching a podcast, listening a podcast or like whatever you like to do in your free time. Um, I think it's a good game to do that. Also, it's not really a farming game. So there is a tiny bit of farming. So I repaired this flower shop right here and you can buy seeds and you plant the seeds in there. So there's like one little plot for each flower. So for example, this one is blue morning glory. This one is violet. So you need to buy the proper seed for each little plot. And then you don't even have to water them. You just wait and then you can harvest them. And the first time when I planted these uh, marigold, the game crashed when I planted them. So I'm a little bit scared of harvesting them. Okay, now it's fine. But the game crashed one time when I was trying to plant them. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this game so far. I'm not sure why all of the negative reviews. Honestly, I think it's like a fine game. Uh, it's not going to be for everybody. It's not your typical farming game, but it has potential considering that it's just in early access. And honestly, I'm not too sure what to do now. Like I built my house and I repaired the flower shop. There are a few other side quests, but there's not that much content. I don't think you can put so much time into it right now. Uh, there's a chest there. I'm going to try to get it. Also, I wish you could jump a little bit higher. Like I wish I could jump on this little cliff right here, but it's just too hard to get there. Um, but yeah, I would recommend maybe waiting a little bit. And I think in the future, this could be a great game, depending on how often it's going to be updated. I know they're planning an update in March and another one in May with tons of new content. So I'll definitely keep an eye on this game. Whenever there's a new update, I'm going to try to take a look at it and check out the update with you guys. Uh, I will probably live stream it as well. But yeah, there's just not that much to do right now. But everything that is there is quite enjoyable. So yeah, let me know if you've played this game. Let me know if you're planning to play. And of course, it's such a beautiful game. It's just so beautiful. I love that kind of graphics. It's just very, very lovely. But yeah, most of the time, you're just going to go around, gather some resources, complete some quests. And that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think of Nova Stella Island. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content on this game. And I'll see you all in the next video.